We recently rescued this old international truck from the woods where it had been sitting for over 50 years. Unfortunately, the family just wasn't ready of selling it to us, uh, but they did let us cut it out from where it had been sitting for a long time now. Uh, we brought it back to the shop here. We'd love to see if we can get it up and running for them. We know we tried to get it to turn over out there, but it seems like it might be locked up. So we're just going to dig into it. Really don't know a whole lot of any kind of story behind this truck. Maybe we can get it up and running, get it back out there to them, at least let them take it for a spin. I'm surprised those hinges work as well as they do. I know it. Yeah, they. You'd think those would be froze up solid. We ever check the oil in this thing? It's thick, it's ain't thick it? and black. Yeah. Little low. Golly, that is some black oil. Like I said I think she's probably locked up. Just want now it's just slipping okay. on that belt. I bet we're gonna have to go ahead and clean the top of this off to get them plugs out. That one's bent up a little bit at the end of it. Oh, that one get them like... plugs pulled out and get something down in them cylinders. I don't know, we might try to throw it in gear and rock it back and forth, see if that'll help to turn It'd be it. Worth and... a try. I don't know. I guess it's probably an old six volt system on this thing. I bet it is, yeah. Oh yeah, it's still got the battery in it. Does it? Yeah. Barely hanging on by the wires on it. But that's that's encouraging to know that Yeah. It was parked with the battery on it. I'm gonna go get some air and try to yeah. clean the top of this. With the up. battery on it, it seems like maybe they were planning on maybe coming back out and Yeah. Julie, if, once you take the battery off, that's it. Boy, those are bad rusty. I don't know if we're gonna be able to even get them out. Look at that one. Let me get on that side. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking a little scary on them plugs. I can see them things breaking off and you're having to drill them out. That wouldn't be no fun. Dirt, dirt job is trying to help hold stuff in there too, so. I don't know, I don't even think there's a, a shape to the base of them plugs anymore. They even get a socket on it. No, not that one for sure. But Man, those things are rough. Yeah, I don't know how we'll get them out of there. I mean, this one here still got a, we can get a socket on it. Probably that one there too. <laughs> I don't know. Might be able to chip enough off that, right there, that little spot. Get that one to have something. You know, I think I just took off the little bit of habit. There's one. nothing there left to grab. I mean, there's nothing. I'm down to the porcelain right there, all the way down. Where it goes into the head. I bet the only thing you can do is just break them and then ease drill out. them out. Yeah, take an ease out. And Maybe ease out. 
I don't know if a person, I don't know if a person need, would need to pull this, this head off here and you could maybe get them out that way where you can actually get to both sides of it. At least get at the base of it and let them soak probably. Yeah, you might. Because I bet you're not going to get them out from up here. They're just going to break off and then you're going to have to fight getting them out and then at least with that, with that off, you can keep the pieces from dropping down in the cylinder. Right. I bet that's what we're going to have to do, is pull that off. So at first glance, it looked like this engine might be fairly simple to get to run, uh, other than we thought it might be locked up. In order to find that out, we needed to get the spark plugs out to go ahead and get some kind of a lubrication down in there in the cylinders. Problem is, uh, they've held water up here on the tops of them and there's just, they're just completely rusted out where you can't even get a socket on them. So they're just gonna break off when we try to get them out. So we're gonna go ahead and get this hood out of the way because it's already aggravating me. Uh, get this head, this, this is a flat head, so it's completely different than a regular style engine. The valves are actually down below in the block. So we're gonna pull this head off and see if we can get these spark plugs worked out of there. And we'll be able to see what kind of shape the pistons and cylinders are in as well once we get that off. Coming out really easy. Backside's turning on mine. Just... Yeah, on that one, it's got a nut. See where it went, so set in the back. Yeah. Yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> Guess I'll go ahead and go grab that impact and we can soak those bolts down best we can. Okay. Coming out all right, though. Get out of the way there. Switch. Crossbar kind of makes it hard to get at them. What size is that? Uh, 11 sixteenths. That one there looks a little smaller. Okay. Yeah, you might have to get a wrench That's on that one. Say. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to salvage that hose or not. <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess and say, yeah. Have you tried to get it on? That hose? Yeah. Oh, this one? Yeah. No, I took it loose, but I didn't. I should have went ahead and already wrestled that, but. Lifting the head up here. Maybe easier to take it off there. I mean, the good thing is it's just a straight shot, so. Yeah. If we have to cut it, I seen a flex hose in there that'll work on it. I think we're about ready to come on. I'm just gonna cut it, Lance. All right, yeah. The only good thing about doing it like this is we're right there to kind of see why it's stuck or how bad it's stuck. Right. It may not take much. That's got this one and this one back here, I think. That it's got all these. I think the only ones we got left are these. There's still a little in there. Yeah, we'll probably have this to come up one. and then I don't know Hold how it up or get gonna, something under it. And... I don't know how it's going to come out with these. It'll have to come out probably my side. Okay. Let's get that off. 
Yeah. There we go. That ain't too bad in there. not to mess up that gasket. Ooh, it's all there. Set it over here on this table. Yeah, there ain't nothing on the bottom side of these to grab on them plugs hardly. Gasket looks good though. Yeah. Oh wait, that don't. No, that don't really look great. I bet it's mainly going to be possibly them two. Yeah, let's try to clean it up best we can and start putting some stuff in it to soak. I mean, that's clean. Yeah. Uh, and free. Free. yeah. Uh, let me try to softly. <laughs> let me kind of softly hit it with 600 <laughs> pounds of pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, they don't look near as no. intimidating as I thought they did once we kind of blew them out. I'm going to go get some. Uh, I thought that was full of cool ain't I'm gonna go get some Marvel Mistral and squirt okay. down in them. I'll try to get what water I can out of them. Or antifreeze. Well, that one there's got some rust. Does it? Oh, yes, yeah, it sure does. Around the top of the piston there. I wonder, I might spray it with a little PB blaster too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that the fight will be so much getting this one to turn over, more so of just fighting, getting those plugs out of that. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna spray down in them open valves, maybe to yeah. I'll get just them. spray all of them. Definitely ain't gonna hurt it, not. Now it's going down through some of them. I can just let it let soak it for a little while. Yeah, come I mean, back. It's, it looks a lot better than that Rambler did, so. Oh, yeah. I'm more confident in this one than I am that other one. Just let it set and we'll come back. Like I said, we can put it in gear, try to rock it back and forth, or heck, may try that starter out and see if it'll do right. it. I bet she'll turn over. You think just go ahead and break well, that off? Yeah, or? I mean, because they're just in the way now, anyways, so. Off, great. Every one of them will break off different, ain't they? That one did all right. That one I need safety glasses on for. It's shattering all over the place. I might have to come from the back side and try that. You want to try this one out? Yeah, we'll try that one.
put some heat on it. Yeah. Try that. Good. <laughs> it's like when they give, it's, yeah. it's no problem. It's just getting them to give. Right. Well, two more to go. I'll see if I can get the rest of that plug out of that one there. But. Just did. It was a uh, just that one, so. Yeah. Well, that Which one you want to try next? Whichever one you think. That one's got a smaller hole inside of it, it seems like. I hope that ease out will even fit in there. You want to just go ahead and heat it up first, or? Just go yeah. for it. No, I'm just going to make sure that fit in there, so. Yeah, we can heat it up. Don't matter to me which one, they all gotta go. That's good, I really didn't want to have to try to re-tap the threads. Right. Which we can run that, that tap through it anyway, just clean them up. But they're already there, so we don't have to worry about being off. Set it down or? Yeah, let's set it down if we can. Just let you drive that in there. tied in there though. Is it? Yep. Start to say I'm <laughs> You're about to give up. About to give up. <clears throat> I could tell by that last tap of the feet <laughs> there. Probably would have gave up if I wouldn't have seen it moving just a hair <laughs> there. I thought it's done slipped again. Yeah. Well, that's got all six of them then. Yeah. Like I said, we can go ahead and run a. Yeah, that's right too. If you know. Run the tap through them or whatever. Well, praise God, that's that's a six cylinder again. Yeah. Guess we'll check back on that and see see how it's doing. 
So we've let this truck set for a while now and we've tried just about every kind of concoction up in these cylinders as we can think of. Uh, we started out with some PB Blaster, some Marvel Mystery Oil, uh, we've used Evapo Rust, we've used a 50-50, 50% /50, uh, 50 transmission fluid, 50% acetone in it, and uh, not really sure if any of these things have worked. Some of them have allowed it to seep by on the cylinders and some cylinders are just still holding the fluid now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we've got the truck in gear. Dad's going to watch up front here. I'm going to try to rock it back and forth in gear just to see if that allow this stuff to break free and, and turn on its own. So we're hoping that the spark plugs was going to be the hardest of this project, but you never know until we see how this turns over or don't turn over. Anything? Nothing. I think we're just dragging over here. Yeah. Try backwards. Okay. Nothing, I'm guessing? Nothing. Okay, we're kind of just dragging there, but... Yeah. <clears throat> well, that ain't good. You want to try the starter just to see what it does real quick? That way we know we've got at least a, something right there on the flywheel. Right. We ain't losing it in the between the rear end and the transmission. Right. <clears throat> I mean, it's worth a try. And then I guess if that don't work we'll probably have to pull the radiator off get down there on the on the crank or on the flywheel yeah i'll go grab a battery and we can stick it on there and see if that starter even works or okay. not yeah six volt system so it should turn over better with that 12 volt battery right. anyways double up on it It does seem like the starter's trying to work anyways, don't it? Yeah. Ain't hitting real hard, no. though. I don't even think it's even trying. I don't think so either. It's, it's just so stuck, that starter's just able to just basically... Hit the flywheel hit the when flywheel. it comes out. Mm -hmm. Well, let's pull the radiator off, I guess. I hate to, but... Right. At least try to get down there on the crank, see what it does. I'm going to disconnect this. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good PB blaster. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah, there was. I missed the pan. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Two of them. That's all I seen on this side. So. Yeah, that's got it. It's probably pretty heavy. Uh, it's heavy hanging grabber. on this. Let me turn this fan just a hair. All right, it should come out. Yeah. It's all there. Get rid of this beaver's den here. That'll be good for the lawnmower. Is there even anything on the crank pulley you can get on? Oh yeah, there's a big... It's actually got a 
like a nut that's designed to have like the old old oh. style cranks. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can tell where it would around oh, through yeah, there. There's a groove in the everything right there. It's, it was set uh, up to have some oomph put on it maybe. Yeah. We're gonna see if I can find a socket. What size do you think that is? It's hard to yeah. see. I guess I'll just start I'm grabbing it. Inch and a half, or maybe even bigger than inch and a half. All right. <sighs> Something's turning, and I don't know. Did the socket fit real good and tight? Yeah. So it might just be tightening the end, man. Ugh. That always scares me when they're. Yep. I mean, you'd think, though, with it being that big, but you never know. Right. See the belt? Is that just the belt loosening off of it? Maybe. Let me try back the other way. I'm sure it's just going to loosen off, though. Oh, yeah, it loosened off real easy. Yeah. Let's uh suck that stuff out. Yeah, maybe. let's suck it out and then try to get on it with a rubber mallet or something and bang on it while you get a little bit of Yeah. Otherwise we're gonna be splashing it all over the place. Right. Well they look a lot better though. Yeah. I still think it's probably going to be that that back one now. That's what I, you know, that's what it was on the It looked the worst. Wasn't that the one on the Rambler was the last one also? Uh, I don't remember. Anyways, it don't matter. <laughs> I can't tell. That one sounds different than which one? This one sounds like it's stuck. Or no. no, I mean this one. That one sounds solid. That one does. That one's got a little hollow. Yeah, you know, like that one. That one sounds loose for sure, yeah. don't it? And I can't get these other two, so. I don't know if heat would do any good. I don't know. I mean, they worked on the plugs. Yeah. But I mean, the plugs are yeah. yeah. grabbing those. It's up to you. We can either try some heat or we can try to see if we can grab that flywheel somehow. Let's go ahead and try the flywheel real okay. quick. Okay, I thought saying when I mean, we're. I'll get it jacked up where we have a little bit more room and try to figure out something that'll get on it. You can definitely see the flywheel, but... There's a... A hole in the clutch there, but I don't want to. I don't know if I can get anything up inside that. Oh yeah. I don't want to mess the clutch up. Might get a like a pipe wrench or something on that. Oh, the old exhaust is broke loose. Well, everything else breaking loose except for what we need, huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Here's the exhaust. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> well. Coming out through them valves. Dust on one end, liquid on the other. Let me try to put a bore inside this. See if I can get where that clutch is at. Like I said, this old pipe branch might work too. 
Let me get another bite. Okay. Need something to pull against. Now. Oh, wait. Man. At least with the Rambler, some of them were moving. Yeah. Ain't nothing moving on that. Uh, I'll try from the other side. I don't know if I'll be grabbing it different or not. It ain't budging. Wearing me out. Uh, all I know to do is to try heat before we pull the pan off and do basically what we did on the Rambler. But I don't know how hard that's going to be with it in the truck. Right. I really don't care to pull this one out. Yeah, I don't either. Let's go ahead and drop it back down, try to heat them up, and try it again, I guess. when we started. I'm afraid we're going to end up having to pull that pan and just check it off, check it from the bottom side to see. At least that way we'll know which way they're they're going as we're turning it, you know. You'll know which ones are going up and which ones are on their way down. You might just have to pull them loose from the crank and try to hammer up the rods and pistons up through the cylinders. Or if we can break one loose that's, that we know is locked up and turn it, maybe hammer it down that way. Right. So after several hours of fighting with the heat and breakover bars and then just various places, uh, we decided that it just weren't making any headway. We we're going to go ahead and try to get the truck inside, get it on the lift. We really don't want to have to pull the motor out of this truck, so if we can get it up where we can pull the pan off the bottom of it, kind of see what we've got, know what kind of direction these pistons are going anyways, uh, maybe have to just disconnect one of the rods or a couple of the rods that are rusted, see if we can get it to turn over and make a little headway that way. Really don't look bad up underneath here. No. Crank's not all rusted and stuff. I said, I bet you it's gonna be that number six and number four piston though giving us the problem. Yeah. Uh, Which looking at it, if we were turning it, what, clockwise. So yeah, that was going up. That one was going up, the back so, one we were trying to go down on. The two middle ones would have been going down. Down, yeah, that would have been down. You want to try to pull off that number four and see if it'll try to turn over and if not we can go ahead and come back to number six but since how it's it's going up right. it's going, going to be hard to yeah we'd have to completely go backwards on that one so yeah i, th I think that'd be the best bet go let's ahead. pull that one off and just see if we can try to turn it over and then if it will we know that one's the only one stuck and we can try to hammer it down through there right yep i think that's the plan like about a five eighths or so yeah, it looks practically brand new from the underneath side. All that diesel and everything else we've had in the cylinders and yeah. block has helped to clean it. Yeah, bearing don't look bad. So with the little groove thing okay. goes towards the passenger side of the truck. Alrighty. Let's lower it down where I can get back on that breaker bar up top there and maybe you can get on that flywheel somehow. I'm not moving much, but I am moving some. Again, too much of a bite. Again. Yeah, my yeah, I'm getting wrench some moving. is moving. Oh, yeah. yeah. There it goes, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> got a good one on that one. So, hang on just okay, a second. Okay, yeah. 
So that's got, I wonder, that's got these, these outside ones almost back up to the top. So once they go back down, that should clear out most of the rust on them, huh? Uh, so definitely that yeah. number four was stuck. Yeah, it was stuck, so. Where, how far do we need to go to try to hammer down on it? Or I guess we could try now, but should we try to turn the crank a little bit more, get that out of the way some, or? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're about three quarters Let's of the way. Let's try to get that crank to where it's kind of straight down straight on down. that. Okay, one. that'll work. Oh wow, that, that was easy. Oh, it's getting easy, easy now. Hang on now. These these last pistons ain't moving. I guess are they in that point to where they're just side to side? They're at the top, yeah. Okay. I say because those ones ain't moving. Yeah, I think they're in the top. Yeah, they are at the very top, but I figured they'd start going down by now. Keep going away. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Getting easier, huh? Well, it was. Now it's kind of. We may be going over uncharted territory now. Right. Oh. Still ain't got down to where that one we can hammer It's that. It's almost oh. at the very bottom. Oh. I'm going to keep banging my head here till I <laughs> knock myself out or. I think what I was, I it's think pretty, that socket was slipping off the head of that thing is what it was. Okay, well, we're, we're almost at the bottom, but I'm kind of. Let's try to get that first because we may have to go on this other side and work it back the other way. So you want to try to hammer that piston down? I think so, yeah, and uh, we'll have to get that that bearing off, but it's it's really tight now, and I hate to get us into a spot where we're tight again if we can go back up maybe and right. spray something. Sounds solid, don't it? Yeah. believe so. Like I'm hitting it pretty hard. I think I rubber end on it, absorbing too much of it. I need something good and solid like a uh, Good piece of oak. Yeah. It's harder than pine. I mean, we've <laughs> we tried the pine on it and that didn't work. Do we have any? There's a, I don't know if there'd be anything out in that other shed or not. Probably, I mean, there should be something out in that old two by four or something, maybe. That's old, old wood out there. Maybe there's a cross beam or something. That's, I just wish it'd move a little bit. Yeah. Let's see a little just a, that thing that was stuck. Yep. And the problem is I don't think a lot of our liquid is ever penetrating down far enough. It just Yeah, it's, I don't know what crystallizes on those things, but they when they crystallize <laughs> it's like they No, I think your metal's absorbing. I'm gonna go see if I can find an uh, okay. board or something. Cut it down. Maybe if we get something that'll even fit. Because yes. I'm hitting right in the center of right. it right now. I think if we get something that's closer to the edge, because that's where it's hung. Yeah. So we have been able to get this motor to at least turn over now, uh, but we had to disconnect our number four cylinder there. So we're hitting it from the top and it's just locked up solid. Now this thing's been soaking for weeks now, but a lot of that penetrant just hasn't got down to the rust, obviously. So we're using this little rubber block, a rubber hammer, uh, nothing seems to work. So we're gonna go see if we can maybe find a piece of oak, something that fits a little bit more to the size of the cylinder. Give it a good whack with this old Thor sledgehammer and maybe she'll move then. There oh, it went. Yeah, I seen it. There it goes. Oh, there went. Something fell off. Was that a bushing? Bearing, whatever. Yeah, there it is. Is it in a safe spot or is it need to? Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Uh, we're going to have to clean it up. <laughs> Even though our cardboard was down there, we done knocked a lot of it dust. Only, it only looks like it went about an eighth of an inch, but it went. According to what that. 
It looks like right in there. Oh, we still got to go quite a ways to yeah. get down mm -hmm. there. Let me make sure though, up underneath here, we're not, that rod's not up against anything. No, we're good. I should allow it just to come straight down. Then we'll clean those bearings up. You can feel a little rust ridge there, so yeah, it's. Man, <laughs> you think once it break, it'd be yeah. a lot easier. Golly, it's like a rock. They're scared that that rod is hitting up against something underneath there, but no, it's not. Oh, did I see it move? I don't think. There it is. There it's going. Figuring out the torque of my hit. Yeah, even we've yeah. moved at least a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna spray it just a little bit more. You see it was rusty though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was rusty, rusty. Gotta be getting close. I don't want to be able where we can't get that bearing in there. Yeah, like I said, that's uh, yeah. about three Let's, eight let's get something, try to clean that cylinder up, get that bearing in place, get it all back connected, then try to see if we can work it again, I guess. So we got the inside of these cylinders cleaned up the best we can. Uh, there was a lot of rust on that one cylinder that we just tried to sand off a little bit. Uh, we've got the rod connected back down on the crank as well. So now we're just going to work it back and forth with Dad down there on the flywheel. I'm going to get back up here on the crankshaft pulley. Just try to work it back until it gets a lot easier. Then hopefully we should be able to just turn it over just up here on the crankshaft pulley. Then get the starter on there and see how it turns over with that. <coughs> Still tight, huh? Yeah. Say so as tight as that one piston was just to drive down with the hammer. I can imagine. Get a little easier. <laughs> I'm just going one cog at a time, but yeah. They are number one and number six pistons are at the very top again. So. Okay, well maybe once they start back down, maybe it'll get a little easier. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and mix some, uh, I'm gonna put some transmission fluid down in there too. Okay, just yeah. something to give it a little bit better. Anything that'll give me some kind of lubrication. All right. I about got past the point to where it originally started. Feels like it's getting a little easier. Yeah. Still won't turn up here very well though. I'm slipping off this. All right. Any easier? A little bit. It's 
It's going to take a lot of revolutions on this thing. Yeah, especially one tooth at a time down here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go ahead and clean out this number four cylinder. It's starting to look pretty nasty in there. I think it's breaking up some of that rust on those rings and stuff. Okay. I don't want a bunch of grime just working it back and forth in the cylinders. It's just gonna take a while of just back and forth, I think. Right. But I believe she'll finally turn over the way she should. Probably drop it down and get some oil put in it, and I think just try that starter out now. Okay. Well, that's that's a good battery. Thing. Oh my gosh. You see the frame here? Oh wow, no. <laughs> Ooh. That's scary there. Yeah, I mean, there's it's pretty well gone. The whole bottom end's rusted off Almost right a there. Foot of just missing, and then another foot of. Well, we may have to find a different place for the battery. Yeah. I think get out from underneath this thing. All right, honey. Okay, <laughs> I'm ready. Pretty rough. Yeah, I don't like those. So once we discovered the condition of the frame near the battery tray there, uh, we went ahead and got the truck off the lift and back outside here. Dad's topping it off with some fresh oil. I'm just gonna go in here and put the battery on it. We're gonna try it with this starter. Uh, the, we could tell the starter was trying to work earlier, but this will be the, the sign of whether or not we're gonna have to pull it off and try to get it to working as well. But I think we've got the motor turning over well enough by hand where the starter should turn it over. We'll check our valve, uh, valve train here, make sure everything's working on that then go back to putting the head on it, spiring gas. Maybe she'll fire up for us. So on this truck, it's actually just a six volt system with a positive ground. So uh, we're running a 12 volt battery here, uh, but everything's backward where the negative runs to the starter and the positive actually runs to the frame for a ground. So it'll work, it'll allow these six volt starters to actually turn over a little faster than a six volt battery. How's it looking? Just fishing to check it. Right on the full. Should work. You can check it again once it turns over. Gets oil in all the right places. Make sure we are in neutral, it should be, but... It'll make a difference this time. Yeah. Hopefully. Go ahead, I guess. Come on, let it turn over good. Good great, it scared me. <laughs> a lot, a lot faster. faster than I thought it was gonna go. I don't know what that last little noise was unless it was a starter when you let back I off. I think it was. Ready? Yeah. So hard to tell. It's turning over so fast whether if the valves are working right or not. Go again. Yeah. Looks like they're all working. That one's not going back down. Is it not? Mm-mm. And I don't know about that one, but ready? Yeah. Sure. Not either. Huh. That one and that one are. I wonder why they're not going back down. Spray some stuff up in them, I guess. I don't really know how these ones work. I don't either. Which one? That one? This one. That's, that's turning over, probably be easier just to turn it like this. Crazy though, they go from taking a sledgehammer to it. Yeah. It won't do nothing to turn it over that easy. That one's all the way up in the middle. No. 
Go ahead. Yeah, I can go back to that one. Don't like hitting on these, but. Going down. But I don't know why it's. Huh. Well, yeah, that was that was it. That one. Yep. That one, yeah. No, not going back down. Is it? Oh, oh, there it went. It popped. It just... Yeah, I bet that did it there. So, let me try to do this one too. I think so. Until it's getting a little better, though. Yeah. I don't know, there's a side plate on this motor. I believe you probably have to take off to get down there to spray that better. I hate to go through all that for... Yeah, I could probably have to take that intake or exhaust off yeah, or something. I think both of them gotta come off. And we may just have to let that stuff set there a little longer and creep down. So I believe we've got these two valves that were sticking on us working now. We just had to get a little PB blaster down there on the bottoms of the, the valve stem there. So now when we turn it over here, you can see everything's moving extremely fast, but all the valves are opening and closing the way they need to, which is good. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that head, put that head on there. Put some spark plugs in this thing and try to get a little bit of firing. Probably going to have to do some uh, points, condenser, wires, everything on the firing side. So get this head put on here and uh, just go from there to see what problems arise next. Still got one bolt in here that wouldn't come out. Yeah. So we we'll have to be careful with that one. Oops. Just a sec. Piece of trash fell off. I got it. Oh, that's heavy. Got it. Something ain't lined up. That go in the, where it yeah, needs to go? It, yeah, it's in the hole there. It is? Yep. Okay, I'll grab the bolts. All right, that should have them all. Guess we'll grab some spark plugs. Start putting those in. So we went ahead and got all the firing on the ignition side pretty much replaced. Uh, new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, uh, points, condenser, a rotor button. We had ordered a new distributor cap, but it come in wrong. Uh, we had ordered on the wires, they come in wrong as well. So we've kind of stole, uh, stole from different things around here. We've got a wiring system on here, so we can go ahead and check out the fire. On this one, we're trying to be a little bit more optimistic than normal. Uh, we normally try to fight it getting gas one it does try to crank up so we've just got a regular old uh, our little cheapy gas tank back there rigged into the factory line that we blew out uh, goes up here to the factory fuel pump on the motor the mechanical one so hopefully that still works if it does but right now we're just going to check see if this thing's getting spark anyways add a little fuel to it see if it tries to pop off if it does get the radiator on it try to send it on down the road <laughs> Pretty good spark. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. at least it looks it anyways. Uh, we want to try to put a little gas in it? I think so. I know that we still got some PB blaster and transmission fluid and stuff down in there that's going to take a little bit to burn off. If it happens to crank up, watch that belt. I don't know so much yeah, about it. It's going to be scary. Yeah. Yeah, you ready? I think so. Oh, you're on fire. Here. Yep. We probably need to push this backwards or something. I don't think we're going to be able to. What? It caught fire. 
I think that's probably what was up in that exhaust. Probably so. Because I couldn't reach all of it. I still don't think though that we're. It sounds like we're off somewhere. Yeah. Push it back up where it was. That good? I think that's good. Ready? Yep. Sound like it's gonna try, ain't it? Huh. Can you give it a little gas? I think the linkage is free. Yeah, let me let me get this up here where I can figure out where's where. Okay. I don't know what yeah. Didn't think it'd try that quick. I didn't either. Ready? Yep. I said watch that belt, because it's got a bad spot yep. right there. All right. Crazy. I'm hoping it'll eventually pump up that gas there. Look okay over there? Yeah, everything looks No fine. fires? No fires. <laughs> I might have to start cranking it inside. The starter wire is getting a little warm. Hang on just a second. Felt something hot, I thought. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Pumping anything yet? Not yet. Um, we're gonna have to get that carburetor squirting. Yep. Bet that float's just stuck down. Let's try it one more time and then we'll pull that carburetor off and see. What's going on in it? Well, over the last little bit, uh, things haven't progressed too well. We left off with pulling the carburetor off to clean it. Uh, once we got it pulled off, we had found out that it was completely flooded in that intake there. It was just holding gas. So Dad got the carburetor all pulled apart, got it cleaned up, and everything seems to be pumping the way it needs to. Uh, but now that we've got it all put back together, we have fought this starter. Now, I told you we were running 12 volts to it, so we started having a little bit of starter issues from that, so we switched on over to the six volt battery and even switched out this starter with another old international starter we had. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, we're just not having luck with starters either. Another issue we've come across here is we were hearing a little bit of a hiss up front of this engine. We sprayed something just to show a little bit of air movement. And whenever I hit this over, We're losing compression out of these spark plugs here. So I don't know if that's from, we've, we've cleaned down at the base of them where they were a little rusty, but they should be sealing off. We've torqued them down at factory specs of what they're supposed to be torqued to. So at this point, I don't know if this head would need to come back off, drill them out and go ahead and put a helicoil in there, something to allow those seal off. But anyways, we're at that point to where we're just gonna go ahead and try to see if we can, we, we wanted to drive the truck on this episode, but if we can at least let y'all hear it run just a second, uh, that's the goal now. But we don't even know if we'll meet that. So. We're just going to try to see if we can get it to crank up and uh, just make a decision from there, I guess. Ready? Yep. Just about had it. I mean, that's running, but not enough to, right. to yeah, the, I want it to kind of just at keep. At least, yeah, at least run off the fluid just a little bit. Ready? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Whew. 
Ooh. started pumping gas yeah. out. That could have been dangerous too, pumping that gas out. Well, I've got the tank flipped up where it, right. I guess it was just what was in the pump. Well, it ran, uh, it pumped out some fuel that was still in the fuel pump there. So uh, since it did crank up, I want to try to see if we can crank it up again. That may be the only crank that we got, uh, but we're going to at least see if we can try to get it to crank up and run a little bit longer. But uh, it did run. Yes. So we've made a lot of headway from this stuck motor that we're hammering out a piston with a big old block of wood and everything else we could try. So uh, let's give it one more shot, I guess. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if that starter's going to last much longer. If that, or maybe the battery's starting to... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, it's that starter. starter yeah. Both of these starters are old. Yep, and it's hot. Try it one more time. That, that sounds like the battery though, don't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Either that or the starter just completely, completely went out. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Nah. I think that's a starter. I think it's a starter too. Well. I'm wondering if that clutch, if I push it in, if the truck, I don't even know if the pedal works. I mean, just the part that, <laughs> the external part, more or less, the clutch and pressure plate and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to have the forklift even now. We ain't about to roll this thing. Just put it in a gear and I'm gonna try to pull it backwards, see if it'll. You want it in a high or low gear? I, I don't care, but you'll have to push in on the clutch once you do it. can't hear you over there. Yeah, best I can tell. Okay. Well, it's just not springing back real good, but. Oh, well, that ain't good. Think we can work it back and forth? I think so. I mean, it's springing some, it just, it just needs to be worked. I just. What do we want to try to pull start it? I had to figure out where to put that battery. It's out of the way. I think it's worth a shot. I think so. I mean. It might crank up that way. Kind of at a point where we ain't got no more choice. We're wanting it to run a little longer than what it did already. Ready? Yeah. Chance it over here. 
date and I'd rather pull it in and put that stuff back together. Praise God. So push starting the thing was a success, but we have no radiator on here. I wasn't expecting it to crank up that easy, so I just went ahead and killed it. We're going to pull it back with the forklift, uh, pop that radiator and them hoses on there so we've got some coolant running through the system. We may just have to push start it again. I think our starters gave up on us, but I still think we're going to be able to successfully make a run in this old truck. That was easy enough. Well guys, I know it seems like this is a pretty common saying here lately, but I really didn't think that we were going to be able to make this one down to the other shop. But hey, I have to say that this was another successful Will It Run revival video for us. Uh, we were very blessed that the family allowed us to cut this truck out of the woods and an opportunity to get it up and running. Now we'll get a hold of them to see how far they want us to go into it. I know they were wanting to kind of get some hands on with this truck as well. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys wanted to see a cleanup video on this truck, so be sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, where you'll get a notification once that video goes live. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of hard work. We'll see you guys on the next one.